Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about comas. A coma is where a person becomes unconscious and is totally unable to wake up. Now there are many reasons why this can happen. It can last for a few days, weeks, months or even years. Each story is unique and interesting but here are some that really, really stand out. You're not going to believe them. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 shocking coma stories. Coming at number 10, we have Edwarda Obara. In 1970, 16 year old Edwarda was rushed to hospital. She was diabetic and shaking after not getting enough insulin. As she slipped in and out of consciousness, she turned to her mother, Kay, and said, promise me you won't leave me, will you, mommy? She promised that, but that was the last time they ever spoke. Edwarda fell into a deep coma, a coma which lasted for 42 years. In all that time, her mother never left her side. The mother died in 2007, and Edwarda's sister took over her full-time care. Finally, in 2012, Edwarda herself died at the age of 59, only having been conscious for 16 of those years. Alright, at number 9 now we have the addiction. In 2009, a toddler called Ya Wen was hit by a speeding van in China. She spent 5 days in a coma with severe injuries. When she woke up, she had changed, shall we say. Her mother said that she started acting like an adult. She started drinking 3 glasses of beer a day and smoking cigarettes a three year old. Her mother found her hiding in a bathroom and smoking after stealing them but now she gets them on credit from the local store apparently. I have so many questions, obviously I want to know how did this happen at all but I also want to know what are the parents thinking? Their three year old wakes up from a coma, starts smoking and drinking and they just go with it? Maybe they're the ones that need to wake up. Alright next up we have I love you. You are not going to believe this one. Wendy Richmond is a woman from the UK who slips into a coma every time she tells her grandchildren she loves them. She suffers from conditions such as cataplexy and narcolepsy which can be triggered by a number of different things, leaving her in a sort of waking sleep state and totally paralyzed. When her grandchildren were born, she realized that one of the things that caused this was having an intense moment of love for them. This strange brain function has meant that she's had to emotionally distance herself from her own grandchildren. She can't run up to them and tell them she loves them without the danger of falling into a coma. Moving on to number Number 7 now we have Terry Wallace. In 1984, 19 year old Terry Wallace was involved in a car accident that left him in a paralyzed state from the neck down and in a coma. Doctors thought he would never regain consciousness ever again but his parents didn't think that was the case and they put him in a rehabilitation center. They visited him every other weekend for years and then in 2003, 19 years after the accident, Terry woke up. He saw his mum and said mama and then asked for Pepsi and milk. He slowly recovered and although he remains disabled and unable to form short term memories, he can communicate with those around him. However, in many ways he is still trapped in 1984. He refuses to acknowledge that he isn't 19 anymore and he thinks the US president is Ronald Reagan. One last creepy fact is that this crash happened on Friday the 13th and Terry started speaking again all those years later on. You guessed it, Friday the 13th. Coming out number 6 now, we have Sam Carter. In 2008, 60 year old Sam Carter slipped into a coma after a case of severe anemia where his red blood cell count got too low. At the hospital, he was in a coma for 3 days and was given just a 30% chance of recovery. His wife was desperate and asked if there was anything she could do to help. The doctors suggested playing music to him, so she placed some headphones on his head and played I Can't Get No Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones and he woke up. After fully recovering, Sam said that the song gave him new energy and pulled him out of his coma. The song choice was no accident either. His wife knew that it was the first single Sam had ever bought when he was 17 years old. If you guys were in a coma, what song do you think would wake you up? Next up at number 5 now we have John Roach. He was a 50 year old man who chose to be in a coma. He was suffering from chronic pain that left even the slightest touch to his skin feeling like a blowtorch. Nothing had worked and so he took part in a radical new treatment, a ketamine induced coma. He slipped into the coma for 5 days while the ketamine restarted his whole nervous system, kind of like rebooting a computer. Then they woke him up and they sent him home with small doses of the treatment to self administer but not enough to put him back into another coma. John says his life changed forever. He's now no longer in agony and can enjoy the simple things in life like holding his wife's hand or picking up his grandkids that he just couldn't do before the coma. 
Alright, coming at number 4 now, we have The Sex Addict. In May 2010, an 81-year-old granddad was put under house arrest because he developed a sex addiction after falling out of a plum tree and going into a coma for 4 days. That's it. That is the strangest sentence I've ever said in my life. But let's break it down. Angelo De Luca from Switzerland needed an operation after his coma and when he woke up, he started spending thousands of dollars at a local brothel and fell in love with one of the girls there. That might sound nice, but his son believed he was being preyed upon and a court gave him control of his father's bank accounts because his sex addiction made him unfit to govern his own affairs. What an unbelievable story. Coming in at number 3 now, we have Half Awake. In 1988, a Polish man called Jan Grebski injured his head while at work on a railroad. He fell into a coma for 15 years, finally waking up in 2003. By that point, Poland had changed a lot and it was no longer a communist country. People were eager to hear about what he thought of all of that, but Jan said he already knew. He said that he actually woke up from his coma after just 4 years, but he was still paralyzed and mute. He spent a further 11 years in this state before finally being able to talk. He even learned to walk again. I don't know about you guys, but I think that sounds even scarier. I would never want to be conscious but unable to communicate. Sounds like an absolute nightmare. Alright, next up at number 2 now, we have bilingual. People spend years of their lives mastering a second language, but for Sandra Ralik, it came to her in her sleep. This 13 year old Croatian girl went into a coma for 24 hours and when she woke up, she was unable to speak Croatian. Instead, she could communicate perfectly in German. This baffled everyone. Her parents said that she had only just started studying German at school, yet here she was, speaking it fluently and now unable to talk in the language she was raised with. If any of you guys are worrying about passing your French exams this year, please don't put yourself into a coma. It's not going to work. And finally now, at number 1, we have the F-bomb. In 2004, Joey Hopkins, a 22 year old British man, fell into a coma after a serious car crash. His mother, Joanne, stayed by his bedside every single day for 41 days, hoping that he would show some sign of life. And then, she noticed that he was trying to speak. She leaned in close to him to hear him whisper his first words since falling into the coma, and he said, F*** off. Yeah, you heard me right. He told his mum to F off, but she cried with relief. She had told the nurse that she'd know he was getting better if he swore at her and said that when he actually did, she believed it was his way of telling her he was going to be okay. After that, he slowly began the road to recovery. It's a very weird coma story, I know, but clearly that is a mother who knows the relationship with her son inside and out. Well guys, I hope you found these coma stories interesting. I know I did. There's something strangely fascinating about how the brain shuts down like that and then can wake up years later. How do you feel about comas? My name is Danny Burke, thanks for watching as always and I will see you in the next video.